All right, today and tomorrow on the show, we will feature a preview today and the aftermath tomorrow of this election with our devoted and insightful American political watchers. Scotty Greenwood is a senior advisor with the Canada American, Canadian American Business Council. She's in Washington. And former newspaper chain owner Conrad Black has written extensively about American politics and presidents, and he's in Toronto. Conrad Black, I want to start with you, and let's put all these apocalypse scenarios aside for just a minute. Mm -hmm. What do you believe America would look like over the next four years under President Donald Trump? Uh, not anything like as apocalyptic as we've been hearing. I think he actually would be surprisingly moderate. His polemical pyrotechnics uh, served a purpose, but he is in fact, and this must be said of Mrs. Clinton also, they deserve credit for keeping their parties within the 30-yard lines. Uh, if Donald hadn't won, it would have been Ted Cruz, who's way off to the right. And if Hillary hadn't won, it would have been Bernie Sanders, who, who's really a democratic Marxist. And so I, I think whichever one wins, there will actually be a settling down of temperatures, and both will try, whichever one it is, but regardless of who wins, they will both try to be sober and reasonable. All these scenarios about contesting the election or uh, clashes of groups of supporters of the two, it's complete rubbish. So that doesn't happen in the U.S. When elections are over, no matter how close they are, no matter how hard fought, other than the one that preceded the Civil War for other reasons, uh, the country pulls together behind the new leader, at least for a time. All right. Scotty, do you agree with that? And what would a Clinton presidency look like over the next four years? Well, a Clinton presidency, I'm biased, as you know, Don, a Clinton presidency would be really exciting. <laughs> but but um, I take a lot of heart. I hope that Donald Trump listens to his friend Conrad Black um, if he loses today. If Donald Trump loses today, um, I hope he listens to Lord Black because... Uh, because Trump has indicated that he will do, he will not accept the results of the election in kind of an outrageous uh, uh, challenge to our democracy and our very system. So um, I really say that if uh, that if he loses, I hope one of the one of the closest advisors around his table um, in the next chapter of his life is Lord Conrad Black, because that. You know, accepting the results of the election, the peaceful transition of leadership, that is what our democracy is really fundamentally about. That is the opposite of what Donald Trump says he's going to do, including up till today. Um, so I really hope that Donald Trump is just posturing, as Lord Black says, and that Conrad Black in this instance is 100 percent right. That would be music to my ears. <laughs> All right, so Conrad, if he phones you for advice before his concession speech, you'll tell him to concede gracefully and uh, and calmly, I assume. I I, I do want to get your... I would do that if asked, yes, if it happens. He should let you give it, Lord Black. You'd be so much better at it. <laughs> Thank you for your compliments, Scotty. I, I think it's a very gracious thing for our exchanges like this to come to their conclusion in this nice way, and I, I want to reciprocate your kind words. If Mrs. Clinton's elected, I hope she listens to you, too. <laughs> All right. Gosh, well, I didn't know I'd have a love-in breaking out here. <laughs> All right. I do want to get your thoughts, though, Conrad Black. What happens in America, not Donald Trump mm. himself, but what happens in America if Donald Trump loses? What's, what's the aftermath look like in your view? Well, it depends how close it is. I mean, if it's like the Kennedy-Nixon election, where they are officially still looking for some of the ballot boxes in Chicago, uh, uh, where... Kennedy won by 9,000 votes out of, out of uh, I think, around 7 million, uh, th th then, uh, you know, th then there will be problems. There will be a contestation of the election, but there won't be any violence. There will be a judicial contest of the kind that President Eisenhower encouraged Mr. Nixon, his vice president, to conduct in 1960, but Mr. Nixon didn't because he thought it would be bad for the country. But I I as long as the result in this scenario, a, a Clinton victory, is not a, a easily contested one. It's a clear margin, a clear victory. There will be perfect calm, and, and uh, Donald will make a reasonable speech, and everyone will say, right, we've chosen a new leader in the constitutionally well-tested way. Let's give her a chance and hope she does well. I don't mean well, to be Scotty, trite, I, but, I, but the, these anticipations of, of, of what you called earlier apocalypse are simply not well-founded. Well, it's right. just listening well, to I, what I Donald say... Trump says, unfortunately. No, but no, no. He, know... he made it clear that if, if he thought the election result was fair, even if he lost, he would certainly accept it. He's made that clear. I mean, look, I admit yeah, that... Yeah, but he, he... Does, he doesn't think it's fair. But... <laughs> well, he, he's going to wait for it first. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, I want to get your thoughts, because Hillary Clinton, if sure. she wins this thing, has a huge... Huge job ahead of her. She's got to try and reunite an America that's been completely divided by race and by class in some ways. How do you do that? How do you go about, you know, 
putting that country back together. Yeah. It's like Humpty Dumpty. It might be difficult to do. Well, no, it's a great question, Don, and it's really important. I think uh, that Secretary Clinton, when she becomes president, we hope she'll become president, will do what she's done in the closing days of her campaign, which is really reach out to people on the other side of the aisle, to people who didn't vote, to people who didn't support her. Uh, she's been really doing a lot more of that lately, and she's going to have to be magnanimous. What I would say, Don, is I hope that we all hold Congress to the same standard, right? So I hope that you don't see the minute Hillary Clinton is elected and sworn into office and, and, and makes magnanimous gestures, I hope, uh, to all Americans, uh, including, by the way, I think she ought to offer Ivanka Trump a position in her cabinet. I think Secretary of Commerce um, is about right. She has a lot of respect for Ivanka Trump. But, and I'm serious about that. I think that would be an amazing gesture and a substantively good move. But I think we need to hold Congress and Republicans to the same standard. If, again, if everybody could be as gracious as Conrad Black, we would be fine. What we see, though, is in the Congress, you, you'll see investigations. You'll see allegations of the election was rigged, it was inappropriate, Hillary Clinton. You know, this, this, you can't just go from this sort of locker-up chant uh, that they've been campaigning on to immediately just, you know, to being immediately magnanimous. Hillary has to be magnanimous. I hope we hold Congress and the Republican Party to the same standard. They will be busy trying to do their second autopsy, right? They will be busy, if they lose, thinking what went wrong. And what went wrong, you know, that'll be a long list. It'll start with how they reach people of color and how they reach women. And I hope they'll spend time navel-gazing as opposed to trying to tear down Hillary Clinton. We need to unite behind the president of the United States, whomever it is. And uh, that's important for both sides to do. Conrad Black, I've got to ask you this question. Uh, you used to run a newspaper chain. Uh, heck, I worked for you for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious, do you subscribe to the Trump theory that there's this massive media conspiracy and that the media's done a bad job? Or how do you size up how the coverage has been? Is it not, been fair? No, it has not been fair. Uh, it's not a conspiracy, but it is a groupthink that's extremely pervasive. Now, in fairness, uh, Don, to the media, Donald brings some of it on himself by his bombastic and outrageous comments, which which please a lot of people. But they are, as everyone said, including Scott a minute ago, they are rather divisive. Now, with that said, I, I, there's nothing wrong with the United States that good government won't cure. Basically, it is a tremendously productive and highly motivated population of almost entirely patriotic people. But we can't have another four years like the last 15 years with uh, economic stagnation, millions of people dropping out of the workforce, an open southern border, ridiculous wars, terrible trade deficits and budgetary deficits, doubling the national debt to get 1% economic growth. Uh, we just can't, uh, we, I mean they, can't go on like that. And, and I, I, if, if Mrs. Clinton's elected, I, I, like everybody else who wishes America well, will hope that, that she is a break from the past. This is the real division. The division is this is the first time in American history the country's been in absolute and relative decline, and the people don't like it. All right, I can't let you both go without a quick uh, last word on this. Give us a prediction, Conrad Black. Can Donald Trump pull this off? He's got a good chance. I think it's 60 40 for Hillary, but uh, he has to win either Florida or both Pennsylvania and Colorado. I think Florida is a little more likely, but the same has to be said of her. These, these arguments that she's getting 320 or 340 electoral votes are bunk, in my opinion. It, 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 will, huh. it will come down to a couple of states. I, I, but I, she appears right. to have a slight edge. Last word to you uh, on this, Scotty, until tomorrow. Well, I think Hillary Clinton will win. I hope she wins. And I hope that uh, everybody comes together afterwards. I think the lesson here for Republicans and for Donald Trump is you really can't win uh, just on white people alone in our country. We are becoming a majority diverse country. And uh, unfortunately, I would say the Republicans have done nothing to reach out uh, to anyone other than, uh, you know, their own. So uh, I think that'll be one of the one of the lessons. I think the Latino surge that we are seeing in Florida, Nevada, Colorado, and other places okay. is going to be a real story of this election. And I think Hillary will do well. I look forward to it. We will. We will reconvene tomorrow and talk about the new president-elect. Thank you both. Uh, it's going to be a fun night to watch. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you joining us.